Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, we are going to be looking at circles. So apart from looking at circles, we are going to be looking at uh, the radius, arc, chord, tangent, diameter. You know, we are going to be looking at the definition of all these terms, and then I'm going to be showing you uh, what they look like in a circle. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to draw a circle. So here is a circle, and when we talk about a circle, say it says a circle, a circle is a round plane figure bounded by the circumference, which is equal distance from a fixed point. So that's what we mean by a circle. Now this point here represent the center of the circle. Why this outside part is what we call the circumference. So it says a plane figure bounded by the word circumference. So if you look at it, this is the circumference from if which is equidistance from a fixed point. What it means is that from this center to any part of the circumference is what is the same length, is fixed. The distance from this point to any part of the circumference is what is fixed. So that's what makes it a circle. So now let's look at what um, a diameter. So when we talk about a diameter, so this is a straight line drawn through the center and touches the circumference at both ends. What does it mean? So is it is a straight line. Pay attention to that key. Is a keyword here. Is a straight line. So if I should pick my ruler and I draw a straight line that passes through the center, you can see. Note this way: is a straight line. It passes through the center and it touches the circumference at both ends. So if I pick my ruler, and I draw a straight line from one circumference pass through the center to the other circumference so with that now this is what a diameter this is what we call a diameter so that's for diameter so now let's look at radius so if you talk about radius so this is a straight line from the center to the to the circumference of, of the circle so this time around when we talk about radius it comes from the center to the circumference don't forget the circumference is just is this circle you are seeing so let me draw a radius so from the center to the circumference so this represents the radius the radius so the next one we want to look at is an arc so in a circle, when we talk about an arc, say this is any portion of the circumference of the circle. Any portion of the circumference of the circle. So if you pick any portion of this uh, circle now, let's say from this part to this part. So from here to here. Now we can call it an arc. An arc. So it's also important for you not to um, mistake an arc with... Um, with a sector which we are still going to be looking at uh, in another video so now this is an arc so this is what we call an arc so the next one we want to look like look at is a chord so in a circle what do you refer to as a chord said this is a straight line drawn across across the circle meeting the circumference at both end so when we talk about a chord so when you draw a line from one circumference to the other to the other without passing through the center that is a chord. So this is what I mean. So if I should pick my ruler, if I draw a line from this point on the circumference to this second point on the circumference, that is a chord. You can see it is different from a diameter because it is not passing the center of the circle. It is also a straight line. The diameter, the chord is a straight line. But the difference is that the diameter passes through the center of the circle while the chord what is not passing through the center of the circle. So that's another difference between the chord and the diameter so let me write it on this this is the chord so another one we want to look at is the tangent so when we talk about tangent it says this is a line that touches the circumference at exactly one point never entering the circle interior so now let's let's just let me just give you this point so if you have to draw a tangent on this point now Say that what it is a straight line. 
said it is a line that touches the circumference so it, if you have a line like this so this is what we call what a tangent and it is always um, at an angle of 90 yeah it's always let me make it faint so it's always at an angle of 90 to the what to a radius so this represents a tangent so it's always on the circumference without entering the interior so if i should have it enter into the circle then it's no longer a tangent so that is what i want to cover in this video i believe um, if uh, this video will I will be of help to you so if you find this video helpful kindly make sure you like uh, you like this video if you are yet to subscribe to this channel PA Academy please click on the subscribe button and the little uh, bell icon beside the subscribe button so this video I've explained what a chord is and then radius diameter and arc and a tangent so in the next part of this video I'm going to be talking about sector segments and quadrants I'll see you back all in and that video thank you